Ladies and gentlemen, we are live, episode 88 of the Vape Team. And uh, yeah, sorry for the technical difficulties. Hopefully, the buffering issue has resolved itself. Um, yeah, it's one of those things, man, when you do live shows, I think everybody's home tonight and everyone has off tomorrow for the Christmas holiday. And that's probably what's going on. So I apologize. I know a lot of you all look forward to the show and we try to start relatively on time every week. But for some reason this week, we were having problems with our software and YouTube. So hopefully we've cleared that up. But I would like to welcome our guest. <laughs> Mark Flamon Fagan is with us as a guest this evening for the holiday, a very special holiday vape team. What's up, everybody? Deja vu. Welcome back. How you doing? De Deja vu. Welcome back. Deja doo-doo. Are we doing buffets? We're going to do buffets. But first, I'd like to not forget... The man of the hour, Mr. Almost at 100,000 subscribers, Mikey Motherfucking Vapes. Hey, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hola, senor. Hola. Como esta? Bien? Muy bien. Hey. Mark, Mike's been uh, freshening <laughs> up on his on his uh, Spanish with all the work going on at his house. I threw a little Italian in there, too. Mm. I haven't even had a chance. My coffee's cold because I've been sitting here trying to get Mark to focus. <laughs> I know, ain't it? So what are we vaping on, Mark? Why don't you start us off tonight? All right. So I am vaping on the Boss 3000 with the Twisted Message Square RDA. Inside of there, I got some of the ever-so-famous dun-dun-dun-dun voting bounder. Uh, I also got the, the fucking the Brick, also known as the RX 300. With the mod father RTA sitting on top. Inside of there, this really good custard I got from Kenny from um, Hometown Vapor out in Michigan. Hometown custard, really good stuff. Uh, the Solo Version 2 with the little mini XL tank. Inside there, some um, straight out of the toaster. And then the Blazer, not to be confused with the Brazer. And then the blazer tank on top and inside of there. Banana bondage. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take it away, Brian. Wow, I will. I'm going to take it away. I was actually uh, checking out the feed and uh, I'm popping up the chat right now as I speak. There we go. And everything seems okay, I think. That's you guys can keep an eye on that too. So I'm happy. I'm happy you're happy. And I was looking forward to this show. So here we go. Let's relax and have some fun with the team. What am I vaping on tonight? Well, I'm vaping on the row, I think it's called, from uh, Wismac. This is a brand new sub ohm tank on the Boss Genesis uh, 3000 that I have here, the Elite Edition. And uh, this is a new sub ohm tank, but I have the RTA in it, or the Rebuildable Tank section, RBA. And I did a build rig for the show. So I'm going to be testing that but really nice uh, i'm not going to review anything tonight because i do that every week and i don't even realize it uh i'm also vaping on my goon with squonker pin from signature tips in the uk signaturetips.com and uh yeah there's that and i also have the signature tip cap on there which is beautiful and this is the Therion squonker and i'm also vaping on the Therion 166 with the Two Vaped X RDA from two vaped, two vaped X com, And we're actually giving away one of these beauties tonight. We're going to announce the winner from last week. So this is the Theory on 166. Um, let's see. Last but not least, uh, yeah, Mini Conversion 2. Always vaping on that. This is the Conqueror Mini from Watofo with the Signature Tips Chameleon tip on there, which I love. This is not acrylic for anybody that wants to know. And um, I'm vaping on some Hit That Donut Glory Hole. Uh, that actually is in the Squonk Hair. And I'm also vaping on some Elite Pudding Pounder. I got my fresh Pudding Pounder in the mail today, so I'm going to pound my face tonight. And, um, oh, we'll talk about this later, but I have this small little mini Tremod that I'm vaping on. Little tiny guy. So I'll call it the Lunchbox with the Titanium Goon on there. So there you go. That's my uh, buffet for tonight, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass the baton to Mikey Motherfucker Vapes. Okay. 
uh, tonight I am vaping on uh, the Boss Prime right here with uh, the Freak Show RDA. I got the MVP4 from Minikin. This is the holiday, happy holidays edition. Merry Christmas. Got, huh, Merry Christmas to you. And I got the UL crown, the little mini one, the new UL mini crown on there. Uh, vaping on uh, the Black Therion, and I got this new skin. Look at that snake skin. That is fucking hot. Oh, snap. And I got this RDTA on here. This is uh, called, what is it called? The Demon Hunter. The Demon Hunter RDTA. Uh, vaping on uh, Boxer. What's up with Mark? I'm just moving around, that's all. I got the Boxer uh, DNA 167 with the Bellis RTA. Eight Cigar VT 250 with, uh, this is, uh, I don't even know the name of this RDA, uh, APV Labs RDA, I'll call it. Vaping on the Lunchbox with uh, the Illusion sub -ohm Tank by Geek Vape. The 2VX RDA on the Titan SE. Juices I'm vaping on. Some pudding pounder. I'm pounding it today. Uh, Pampa, Pampa E juice, this white berry stuff. Pampa, I think it's called. Pampa, Pampa. Blackberry yogurts. Mr. Cannoli. ADS all day strawberry and I think do I have one more juice I think I'm vaping oh, I'm vaping on this stuff too some modus modus uh, blaz I think it's called or buzz buzz modus buzz and uh, yeah that's it thank you for sharing it's so it's so weird seeing these little boxes in the bottom right and not being able to actually look into your both of your beautiful eyes. I know, ain't it? It's strange. And I, now it's even more noticeable when I interrupt <laughs> because the whole screen just takes me up into it. <laughs> the thing was, when I was doing a buffet, um, I'm not popping up on the screen. Yeah, it kept switching to me for some reason. I don't for some, why. That's why I asked. That's why I asked, was it, what are you doing? Because all I saw was you doing some weird stuff like this. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? I know. Was it making... Was it making sounds or anything? Or no. no? For some reason, uh, I was talking and you weren't, but my, but you were being presented on my screen. Yeah. And on the feed, you weren't being presented. That was strange. Fucking YouTube. I have a feeling that Mark is still doing cleanup in his room as we're on the show right now, and that's part of the problem. He was. I'm clattering. done with cleanup. You were clattering, Mark. I am completely finished with cleanup. I don't know what the issue is. Thank you. Mm hmm. Uh, so why don't we chat for a sec, because uh, we're going to talk about 2016 and overview, um, because usually the way that it works last year and, and this year, we'll probably do the same thing. This episode, we're going to talk about the year that has passed, and uh, next episode, we're going to talk about uh, the year that's coming, so the pre-New Year's uh, show. Remember, Mike made some really good... Um, what, what do I want to say? He forecasted the future of vaping for 2016. Remember, Mike? What happened? At the end of last year, you were talking about what was going to be big and popular in 2016. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're going to do that again next week. Um, but for tonight, why don't we start off, because I know everybody has been asking last week on the show, and they've been asking all over the place, what do we think of the Relo? The Relo 300. Oh, yeah. I thought it was the lunchbox. It is Big. You know what? I'm gonna grab my scale and I'm gonna weigh it. 427 with batteries. There you go. 427 with batteries. I like the door. It's got a spring-loaded door, and all you gotta do is just press it in, and it automatically clips in. Pretty nice. I feel like I wanna sh I wanna shoulder mount it and have it shoot rockets off of my shoulder. <laughs> Rambo. <laughs> It's like a predator attachment, you know, like beep, beep, beep. But can you agree that it's constructed much better than the older one? Do you think so? I think it's much more, it's much nicer than the older one. It's very, it's very sexy. It's, it, it is gorgeous. There's no doubt about it. It's definitely good looking, but it's fucking huge. It's huge, good looking. 
It's like a big fucking like Mark. He's sexy and he's big and he's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's big and beautiful. Yep. I just man, I so wish to God this thing would look good with thirty millimeters without hanging over. Why can't he just move over to five? Like, why didn't they move over to five ten pin a little more? Why? Mark, can you hold that up to your hammer of God? Hammer of God. Uh, what I want to say about this, the 510, I'm not sure. I think they're using the same shitty 510. There it is uh, next to the hammer of God. Uh, it's almost let's as see. fat as it. Let's see the asses. Look at the, yeah, the battery doors are the same on the hammer of God. Yeah, it, I was asking, what's his name in the vape lounge, if the 510 pins are different, and he said they look different, like, I don't know. When I screw on a certain atomizer, it's like two turns, and the atomizer is already screwed down. But I don't know. I'm doing a test right now on it. I'm going to use uh, – you know what I'm going to use on here? Actually, the comp vape shit. Usually, it's got long 510s. Let's see if it gaps with the uh, double vision. All right, not bad of a gap. Very little gap. They might have changed the 510 on this. Let me see what else we got here. We'll throw a Kennedy on it. All right, look at that, huh? Kennedy sits nice on it. Yeah, it looks good with... Yeah, it looks like they they might have updated, or it looks like they what they did was they raised the whole 510. Higher or something, or I don't know. I don't know what they did. They did something to that 510. It's, it is different. It looks like they're actually using a 510 connection as opposed to the older one where they just put, like, the connection underneath the, the body. Like, yeah, oh, that's weird. What's the yeah. 20 yeah, the, plus. It's nice and flush. The cube looks really good on there, too. You could put a Nautilus Mini at 14 watts and vape on it for a month. <laughs> so true. Uh, what else do we got here we could try out? Oh, let's try this out. Look at that, huh? The Chaos RTA. <laughs> <laughs> Spin that shit. We got, we got some pancakes in the lunchbox. <laughs> uh, Mike's going to do dreidel tricks right now. Oh, here's my original twisted my twisted messes. This thing will gap on the RX big time. The original RX. Very little gap. They did change the 510, but it doesn't look Sweet. that bad. I'm going to try out the, the tugboat version 1 that has the longest 510 oh, yeah. end on the Mankind. Yeah, you're definitely going to get that slight gap. With it. Yeah, there's a, a little hair gap on it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, they changed. It looks like they changed the 510 out here. It's better than what it was. But uh, from what I see here is uh, this one here, you will not be able to do the custom 510s like the way uh, a few people were doing. Like Isaac G was doing the custom 510s on the RX. On this one here, you're not going to be able to do it from what I see because they raised the, everything. And yeah. Uh, It's pretty cheap too. Like, what are they? 30, 40 bucks? I'm surprised yeah. they're so cheap. Yeah, it is cheap. You're gonna have to spend a little bit of money to buy batteries for it. Let's see if you guys can see that. There's the five. No, no wobble. With it. Yeah, no wobble. This is gonna be a nice mod for me, like putting it on my desk with charged batteries and just dripping when I'm at home. Yeah. Oh, you know what I didn't check? Did they I remember seeing uh I remember seeing a fucking uh, adapter thing to charge your phone. Did it? Oh, they didn't mine. include that, right? No, mine didn't come with one. They showed it on the photo, but my, but didn't come with it for some reason. So was that false advertising? Well, either that or it's an accessory you got to pay extra for. Because yeah, they make it, they made it seem as if it came with it. I didn't have it in mine. No, they didn't include that. Mm -mm. That's a con. This, my screen's a little not – it's not very bright. Yeah, they've got a dim screen on this thing. 
Yeah, the screen's a little. It looks good in the on the camera, but uh, you can change your ramp up and stuff. Hold on, let me see if I can. I wonder if it's a tinted protector over there. If we could rip it off. Uh -huh. Why don't you grab a screwdriver, Mark, and uh, see if you can. I'm getting ready to. I'll Once get I get started, I'll fucking throw a knife right to it. <laughs> I did that with the alien. Um, how do you get to the? I was too lazy to look at a manual, but how do you get into the preheat functions? I try like all the uh, yeah. Go to uh, hold the fire button and the right button. To, it goes to the logo screen, and then press right the right button, the up button. Did yours come out of the box like that? Because mine was set to like preheat at one point nine watts, and there was like a two second delay, and I thought there was something wrong with it. No, mine was off. Yours is off too. Yeah, they probably shouldn't ship like that because people are gonna be like, "What the hell? Something's wrong with it." Mike, did you get it? Yeah, I found it. Yeah. So there's preheat. There's TCR. Um. Yeah, that's the only thing. The only thing I couldn't find. I didn't realize in the logo area is where you found that. Yeah. I'm looking at my voltage for my batteries, and uh, I put four fully charged batteries in here. And I got one battery at right now at 4.05, 4.08, 4.09, 4.18. Yeah, I notice like all four of them are kind of off. Yeah. Yeah, mine are too. This thing, man, if you hit someone in the head with this mod, holy shit. Yep. This thing is a brick. I can never show anything. It's a brick shit house. That's right. You definitely don't want to wear loose-fitting sweatpants with this in the pocket. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you that right now. I did that today, and it pulled my pants down. Can you imagine carrying the eight cigar, the VT250, and the lunchbox together in your pockets? Good your pants are definitely falling down. If you have to sprint from, like, a wild kangaroo or animal, and you make a quick left turn, this thing could slide in your pocket and smack your sack. Can you imagine <laughs> putting this in your hoodie pouch and start running? I know. You're gonna get fucking your balls crushed. Yep. This is a bop. It's the heaviest mod I own. I don't remember weighing any mod in at 400 something grams with batteries. It has to be the heaviest one I own. And you have to have all the batteries in there. Like you can't do two batteries. You have to have all four. Looks like a car battery. That's right. Yep. There's gonna be all kinds of names for this one. Car battery, lunchbox. Why don't I uh, show a quick? Comparo between the Relo or the Tri. I'll show the Triad because that's the one that I have here. You guys can see size difference. I think it's not even like, in my opinion, that extra battery is not even worth that size. No. I, in a weird way, I really dig it. Yeah, but it's it's a guilty pleasure. You know what I mean? Like I'm glad they did it, but I I'm not really, I don't understand why. Yeah, exactly. That's the way I feel about it. I mean, Mark can't even hit it 150 watts, let alone 300. <laughs> <laughs> I think for 30 or 40 bucks, at, for an at home mod, it's pretty cool. I would probably like the Maxo I bring out, but this I probably would never bring out just because it's like a brick. At least the Maxo has a bit of a shape to it, so you can actually hold on to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very uncomfortable to hold. This thing's like just fucking holding a big dick. <laughs> yeah, the real way to, yeah, the way to hold this one is you got a thumb, be a thumb fire. If you like the thumb fire, you got the atomizer with the fire button on the same side. It's it's okay like this, but if you're gonna trigger, it, you know, it's a little uncomfortable. We're gonna just hold it with two hands like this and just. Just take it in. Take that shit in, brother. Yeah, try to deep throat this one, Brian. I can't even. I don't think I. Uh, uh, I can't even get it in my mouth. I just chipped a tooth. Yeah. <laughs> I, one thing I've appreciated all year is Mike's ability to shrug off Mark's comments. I know. <laughs> and continue with the focus <laughs> without being interrupted. It's awesome. <laughs> so, bravo, Mike Vapes. Someone's got to do it. Yeah. See, 
Yeah. So. Uh, Blazer. <coughs> what do you think of the top fill on that Blazer tank? Very, very nice. I love it. Very, 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 very nice. Uh, is isn't that the best top fill? Yep. Yeah, this tank is actually pretty good too. I'm surprised. And the performance is awesome. Yeah. A point two coil. I don't like I don't care for the ceramic. The point two coils are fucking badass. Yeah, it kicks major fucking ass. And the flavor is on point with those coils too. What is it? A twenty six millimeter tank? Yeah. That's the only con, like it's gonna be strange on certain devices. Yep. Oh, it's twenty six. Well, wow, that's fucking weird. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty weird. Yeah, if it's a thirty on here, beautifully. My mod father on here it looks beautiful. Yes, I know you would appreciate that. Yes. Mod, right. Yep. Thirty millimeter. What do you guys think of the actual Blazer mod? It's not bad. I, I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Actually, it's not bad. I this fixed. The, I fixed the uh, rattle issue with the back door. All I did was just squeeze it. And it fixed the problem. Now yeah, it's look, solid. Luckily, uh, mine's not rattling yet. Yeah. Anyways, for the for their first mod, basically high powered mod like this, uh, for wattage mode, you know it's not bad. It fires right away. Five ten is good. I mean, it's comfortable in the hands. Yeah, it's got a nice shape. The five ten on the uh, tank is is very long. Yep. And uh, like if you put it on this. It fucking gap like it's Gap City. Huge, huge gap on there. It's hard to see. If I had to really complain about anything, the screen just looks really cheap. It just looks like uh like one of those cheap Walmart watches. Like a DNA forty. Yeah, that's like really and it's kind of set back in there. But other than that, it's not bad. Well, you like that you know, phallus shaped roundness. Oh, you love it. Yeah. Can you fit this one in your mouth? I don't know. Why don't you try? Uh, I'm going to sit back on this one. But the performance of the tank is awesome. Also, another nice feature that I forgot to mention on the Rolo 300 is not that you, not that I like it, but you can actually go in 0.1 watt increments above 100. Why would really you want to do that? Dude, that I don't know. Me. I don't know. <laughs> that confused me because when I hit 100 watts and I was clicking the button, I'm like, why isn't it saying 101, 102? It does it on top, and I can't stand that. It actually yeah, does 100.1, 100.2. Yeah, look, ready? Hold on. Oh, my God. Uh, one, two, one, two. I'm never going to be able to get this. Why do I even try? <laughs> I don't know. Seriously, I, it's like I don't learn from my past mistakes. Is there a method to this? Is there a fucking secret? I'm done. All right. <sighs> anyway, why does it keep going on me? What the fuck? There's like you have a noisy chair. My chair? That's your chair. My chair is silent. It's like a puppy. Is my mic too loud or something? My chair's like a puppy that has laryngitis. It's like meh, meh. Oh, no wonder my, my my mic's turned all the way up. Let's turn that down. There we go. Ah, yeah, yeah. How's that Bellis perform the mic vapes? Uh, I like it, man. It's pretty good. Airflow is sweet. Flavor is nice. Nice vape off it. I like it. Uh, this is a sample version. I'm not sure if they're going to change it. But uh, I kind of said to them, uh, why a four post? You know, the regular old school four post build deck in there? It's like, oh, it's too many uh, tanks have velocity posts, they said to me. I'm like, there's a reason why. It's it's better than a four post. So they might change it to a four post uh, velocity build deck. We'll see. But uh, not bad. I love that silver and blue mix. Yeah. I got a question for Mike. What I got this today at the Vapor Shark one. What's so special about these? Anything? Uh, I have no clue. I've had mine too for a couple of days. I haven't even opened the box yet. <laughs> yeah, I just I haven't used it. I'm like wondering what's so spectacular about the Vapor Shark charger. I don't know. Maybe it's for uh, if you got a rouleau. There you go. It only holds three batteries. I, I guess yet. Yeah. It's like not two, not four, but three. 
Uh, Addy Tooney, no, they only sent me the tank, just the tank by itself, just wrapped in bubble wrap. They didn't come with anything attachment, so I'm not sure if it will do single coil. I'm not sure. There's going to be an adapter for it. Uh, Mark, somebody recommended that you call AOL and uh, AOL. ask them for a new updated modem. <laughs> my 56K modem is – my internet's fine. Like, I don't I don't have no clue. It ain't my computer. I got, like, the fastest computer ever possible. It ain't my internet. I don't YouTube, I don't think, even likes me. I just – I give up. You think it's you? I, I, get, I think it's me. I think YouTube just picks me and says, you know what? No, we're not having this shit. I even cut back on the live reviews because I don't even want to take the chance anymore. I'm scared. Next week, I'm going to try a different program. I'm not going to use OBS next week. I'm going to use uh, – what's the other program? I forgot. There's another program for streaming live that's really popular. Um, fuck, what is it called? I forgot, but I'm going to try that next week. It seems to me like you need to make it right. I'm going to make it right, make it right, make it right. All right, so why don't we move forward, and uh, since we have over seven minutes over already, eight minutes over, <laughs> Shit. Uh, let's talk about some uh, best ofs 2016. Why don't we do that? I know we've talked about it, like Mike did a, a show on his channel. and Did we do that last on last week's show? No, that was uh, not another vape show two weeks ago. Oh, did what did we talk about last week then on this show? We didn't do best stuff. Oh, that. we didn't? Okay. All right. We did not. But before we do that, why don't we pick the winner for the 2 Vape Dex RDA? What do sure. you think? Why not? Let's get it out of the way so we don't forget. Who's going to do this? You or me? Or Mike? I don't know how, I don't know how to do it, so you're going to have to. All right. Are we doing the last week's, last week's replay? Yep. Yeah. Okie dokie. Why don't you make love to me, baby? You guys should sing as I like try to look for this videos. Last week's show, vaping in 2017, what was the name of last week's episode. Not that anyone really gives a shit, but still, that was the name of it. Um, da da da. Let's grab the link. Walk us through it. Walk us through it. Go ahead, buddy. All right. So we're going to grab the link from that show. Then we're going to open up a new tab, and we're going to go to YouTube Random Comment Picker. It's going to be the first link on Google. Some chick name. Uh, I forget her name. Keep walking us through. Sandra or something. She makes the website. She looks pretty hot, too. Drop the link in there. Click Load Comments. Yeah. 296 comments. Mm-hmm. Three pages. The winner is... Oh, give it to us. Give it to us. Give it to us. David Johnson. David Johnson. Great show. Life is a cloud. Vape hard. Congratulations, David Johnson. Contact Brian. Do not contact me. Thank you. Yes, contact me on uh, the Vapor Chronicles Facebook, in on Facebook Messenger. And all I need is a <sighs> picture of your photo ID. Uh, I also need your name, your full name, and your mailing address, and your telephone number. And I will contact Anderson at 2 com, and he will ship you out one brand new 2 Vapedex RDA. So congratulations, Big Johnson. Big. I wonder if David Johnson has a Big Johnson. I would say no. I think with a name like that, you have to have a small one because that's just like, I don't know. That name does sound you... fake as hell, David Johnson. It's like, it's like my last name. You know, I don't even smoke weed. No, the 2VX RDA is fucking pretty badass. It is totally badass. Yep. I'm in love with this RDA. What's the build deck look like? I'll show you, and it'll be blurry, and no one will see it. It's got the Apocalypse build deck, but under the posts, like on the block itself, there's also two 3-millimeter, uh, what do you call it? Ports where you, you could do your coils. You could put your coils one through the hole and the other one on a clamp. Here you that go. Here's there. Yeah. Oh, you can actually see it. Holy shit! It looks nice and chunky. It is chunky. Yeah. So you could either use the clamps, you could use the post <sighs> holes, or you could use uh, with the one the top clamp and the bottom post hole. 
There's all different ways you could use it. Did he just fart? <laughs> yeah. Do you think? I'm trying to hold it in, but I couldn't anymore. <laughs> yeah, it looks really nice. Uh, they said, please, Brian, change your cotton. Yeah. I'm just glad that it could zoom in. Now, this deck, this deck has been out since uh, June from them. Yeah. It was in the Barador RDA first. And if, then, any, uh, yeah, if anything, the Cthulhu took the idea from theirs. They've had it from before the Cthulhu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, somebody said I'm using that new black cotton. <laughs> I, I remember that just, shit on uh, Instagram. That, that cotton is not as dirty as it looks. It was just the, it was the coil reflection or something. Put your hand behind if you want it to focus. Why don't you shut your mouth, Mark? <laughs> I don't need to hear anything. You couldn't even start a show on time tonight. Look at that. It's perfect. <laughs> Look, that cotton's not black. It's the coil that's black. Oh man. Whatever. All right, so congratulations, Big Johnson. And there you go. Thanks, Mike. You guys get a nice little view of it. I actually showed the build deck to you last week, Mark, but uh, you weren't paying attention, I guess. Oh. Was it last week? Where was it? When no. we... Was that the vape team when I, when I built this? Well, that was the RDA you were building last week? Yeah. Yeah, there was an RDA you were building. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. It's <laughs> <clears throat> like Chuck's nice series. Make love to me. So what else is new, guys? I'd like to know what the fuck Mark is doing right now. I was looking for this RDA I got from Geek Vape today because it's looks like the same RDA that was from Digiflavor, but I wonder if it's this one says Geek Vape on it now, even though they're the same company. But I can't find it. Hmm. So, Brian, you were talking about best of 2016. Yeah, I was. Let's Why don't do you that. Tell us your best, your favorites. Of 2016? Let's let's do it. Let's let's do uh, it. Mark did his video i did my video so you might as well do your video now <laughs> okay <laughs> so the best uh let's start off with the best sub ohm tank um that's a tough one sc1 yeah the sc1 would have to be the best but i'll tell you what if this tank from uh sense continues performing it's going to be a really tough even though this is kind of big and the 510's a little long, the performance it cannot be, and the easy top fill cannot be denied. But I would say right now, the SE1, yeah, from UL. I have to agree. Yeah, this is a good one. Now, a lot of the general population, according to this guide to vaping site, uh, in first place with 607 votes is this Smoke TF V8 Cloud Beast. Yep. I agree on that one. It was a, I really enjoyed the Cloud Beast. The beast. I mentioned I mentioned it in my uh, video. The TFV8. I mean, that's very popular tank. Ridiculous wattage you got to throw on that. But uh, yeah, yeah, the coils are ex expensive, and they just drink your juice. But it was really good, though. Really good. Um, the next is a probably. I think it's probably one of the hardest categories, which is the best RDA of 2016. This year was a year of tremendous. Uh, performing RDAs with lots of innovation. And um, currently the top is the 528 Custom Vapes Goon RDA, followed by the Kennedy Vapor Kennedy RDA, and uh, then the Grim Green Own Boy Recoil RDA. And some other honorable mentions would be the uh, Apocalypse, the Geek Vape Tsunami, the Hadley, the Twisted Messes, the Troll V2, the Velocity, the Dot Mod Patree, uh, the Pharaoh and the Mason. I'm surprised the Apocalypse was in fourth place. It should be in second or third place. Uh, for me personally, I'm going to definitely, and this could go either one or two or two or one, and they could swip, uh, switch back and forth. But the Kennedy and the Goon are my, my personal favorites uh, of 2016. 
I own the most goons. I have like six of them, and I think they're awesome. And the Kennedy is just tremendous for flavor and vapor yeah, and airflow. I, I, I have to agree with the goon. The goon all around. Uh, and I know people were saying, uh, well, Mike, why not the Apocalypse as the best? Because the goon was for out longer, much longer than the Apocalypse. And the goon changed the whole game of the RDA with the clamps. You know, so had to be the goon. And the airflow and flavor on the goon were just... Yeah adjustable and awesome customizing it yeah so and you can still use the goon today and you don't feel like you're vaping on something that's old you know yeah. it still vapes really good how about you mock gonna be the goon gonna be the apocalypse uh kennedy 25 and uh i like the twisted messes 24 too my other ones for me were uh, the Reload, the Freak Show version 2, uh, the Rushamon. Yeah, the Rushamon was really good. And, and, the, the, and the Kennedy. And the two vape decks that I just got, but it's only been like a week, so I haven't used it long enough. It's been really good. The next category is the best RTA. And once again, RTA is a plenty this year. Uh, there have been a whole shit ton of them. Uh, in first place right now is the Griffin RTA. And in second place is the Modfather RTA. Yeah. And in third place is the OBS Engine RTA. So I'm going to have to say, uh, Mike, why don't you give us yours first? My all-around favorite is the Engine RTA. Uh, I know when I did my video, I should have mentioned uh, the Griffin Plus because I think the Griffin Plus was just fucking awesome in RTA. But uh, the engine all around for me was just the best. Mark? I'm going to go with the Griffin 25 Plus. The Heracles uh, RTA 2 was in there for a short time, but got replaced by the Griffin. I'm going to go with the Modfather. And... Uh, the engine's nice, but it didn't really make my top list. Uh, I'm going to go with the OBS engine also uh, in the top spot. I think it's an amazing performing uh, RTA. Uh, I'm also going to go a little bit out in left field, and uh, I'm going to mention something that was a little wonky, but in terms of the vape and the airflow that I like, I loved the Limo 3. Uh, that's going to get a lot of booze, I know, but a lot of people didn't try it. I didn't have leaking problems with it, and I thought it was a wonderful um, RTA. And, I, and this build deck that's in the new row from uh, Wispec is the same build deck that was in that, or similar. So uh, that I think it's going to be a really good performer. And I'm loving, have been loving, and I think it's probably one of the best flavor RTAs that I've had, is this Watofo uh, Conqueror Mini. Awesome yeah, RTA. That is a nice one. Really, really nice. But, I mean, there's been so many that I've sat back and vaped them, and I was like, where, you know when you get that flow and the flavor and the, the clouds and you're just satisfied? There's been a lot of satisfying RTAs this year. RTAs were hard this year because so many good ones came out. Mm -hmm. So many. This year was the year of the RTA. Yeah. Lots of RTAs, great RTAs. Mm -hmm. I just based it off of what I continued to keep vaping on, like after the review. Yeah. And I just found the Griffin like plus and let me uh, go down past three and I'll give you some honorable mentions here. Oh, here's one. The Savo Mestro K Fun version five was an awesome RTA. I picked that. I did a single coil RTAs. My two top ones was the Amit and the K Fun V five. And I did it to where the K Fun uh, the Amit for having a loose airflow. And the K fun having the restrictive airflow, you know, direct lung airflow. I did it that way in my video. Yeah, this was a lot, there was a lot of single coil RTAs this year too that really performed well, big time. I love the Amit. I use the Amit every day too. Me I, too. I got the black Amit. I love it. Uh, so another honorable mention was the Serpent Mini RTA, the uh, Steam Crave Aromamizer Supreme RTA. Uh, let's see, the iDroid Limitless, 
uh, Vaporgate Mason Dump Tank RTA, Dot Mob Tree RTA. So that's pretty much the lineup. Yeah, so many good ones. Though. So that's, many good. It's hard. It is hard. You almost feel guilty picking one because there's so many good ones. I'll tell you something. If the engine uh, never existed, I would have been like fucked. Like, oh god, I don't know what which one's my favorite because they were all so fucking good. You know, at least eighty percent of the RTAs were fucking badass. And the engine's been like one of those things that's it's like a cult following movie. You know the movie that comes out in the movie theater and it doesn't really hit well, and mm -hmm. then it builds momentum after it comes out on like on demand or on DVD or whatever. Yeah. The engine was like that. You know, you were talking about it, saying it was awesome, and then you could just feel the momentum. And I would I would imagine if you looked at their sales numbers that it went like this and then it just started just building, building, building. Yeah. I hear in, in the vape team Facebook group. I hear people all the time. They'll comment. I just got my first engine. Oh my god, it's awesome! Even today. Yeah. So, and I'll tell you what: if you have an engine, um, like I do, you might want to look into getting a drip tip for it. Oh. I'm just saying. What kind do you think they should use on it? Well, I'm split, Mike. Uh, I have one that's um, from Fast Tech, but I'm looking for one that. Um, well, I don't know. Do you have any recommendations? Because I'm in the market. Actually, yeah, I'll show you guys this drip tip I got here on. It. There we go. I got this drip tip here. It's uh, from halfmoonmods.com. It is a 510 drip tip. It's a super shorty 510. Well, uh, uh, real quick, but I don't want to interrupt, but I'm looking for a specific uh, material. Is it acrylic? Is it acrylic? Yes. Uh, I actually emailed him uh, 1,400 times, <laughs> and all 1,400 times he said it was acrylic. All right. And would you like to know how much? Uh, Mark would. He's yes. interested. Uh, damn! How much is it? I totally forgot. Fifteen ninety nine. There we go. Fifteen ninety nine. You heard it here. You hear. You heard it here first, second, <laughs> and a thousandth times. Yes, it is acrylic. <laughs> yes, and uh, thank you, iJoy, for that uh, plug. So anyway, uh, next up is the RDTAs, which sort of came into the in, into their own this year, the Jenny style uh, RDTAs and. Number one here is the Limitless RDTA with uh, a lot of votes. Then the Geek, Geek Vape Avocado RDTA and the iDroid Combo RTTA, followed by the Aromizer Supreme, the Wismec Therion, Mason Dump Tank, Modfather. There's a lot of people that don't know what these things are. And uh, we'll stop there. So what do you guys think? RDTA. First of all, are you guys still into RDTAs? Are you a fan? Would you wick one up today and, and vape one regularly? Uh, I'll start this one. Uh, for me, I joy everything. I joy killed it. They were the kings of the R RDTAs, I think, in my opinion, this year. And uh, I'm actually vaping on an RDTA, which is not an I joy RDTA, but it kind of looks like the combo, a shorter version of it, with a pretty neat fill port on this one. It's pretty nice. But uh, yeah, I like RDTAs. I vape on them. But I joy killed it this year. Yep, I'm going to go with the uh, all iJoy. Avocado, I really didn't like it all. I think iJoy took it with the RDTAs. My favorite looking RDTA this year was the, uh, what was that one that came with the different colored drip tips, but it was hard to fill? Uh, mm -hmm. the, 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 the Fody version, too. I oh, like that the one. I like the look of that. If you're into getting pussy, but while vaping, you want to have that on your mod. That's all I'm putting out there. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I agree, guys. The iJoy killed it this year with the RDTAs. Um, let's go to the next category, and that is favorite internet porn channel. No, it's the Check. best. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> um, Best YouTube vape channel for entertainment. That's not mod, so I, we'll skip. Should we mention this or no, guys? Yeah, why not? All right. Well, if you haven't voted yet, uh, best YouTube vape channel for entertainment. Uh, Grim Green is in first place with the 664 votes. Vaping Underground Live, Vaping Underground, 396 votes. Rip Trippers is in third place with 206 votes. Then uh, Convicted Vapes is in fourth place with 204 votes. Uh, then the Vape Team 
uh, is in uh, – we were in third place, but we've actually dropped down two spots, uh, and we're not in the top three anymore. So I'd like Damn. to thank – I'd like to thank the thousands of loyal fans that watch our show every week. Um, That's what I'm saying. I'm a little upset. I am upset, upset too. I'm going to have to blame Mark for the tardy starting and things. Maybe they're upset. Uh, that's so disappointed. Yeah. Like, I think this show has more entertainment than any other show. Not so much, like, the best when it comes to, like, information or topics, but as far as entertainment, I think this is the most entertaining show. We spend all week entertaining on the social media, the Hangouts. Um, I, I, I do pictures every day of my life to entertain. Um, there's a lot of entertainment to be had here. We've deep-throated many times on this show. You know? I'm just oh, saying. Yeah. Anyway, uh, next up would be the best channel for technical, uh, which actually is... Uh, oh, you know what? Let me go up to the top real quick because I want to shout out uh, something that I'm very proud of. And if you go down to best e-liquid brand, look at a door in second place. How fucking awesome is that? That is really awesome. And I got to say, she's not far off of Vape Wild, which I don't know how the fuck that would be the best e-liquid brand. Yeah, didn't they, have uh, like, they had like a gnat or a crab in their bottle of juice like early in the year or something? A crab. <laughs> it was something. They had like a gnat or something in there. They posted a photo on them. But anyways, uh, yeah. I got that Alaskan king crab in my fucking juice <laughs> bottle. Adore yeah. deserves it. Adore yeah. definitely deserves it. I, and I'm very proud of that. So if you haven't voted yet, guide to vaping.com. You guys can place your votes there. Yep, links and in the chats. Also, best e liquid flavor. She's also in second place for banana bondage. Yes. And I know a lot of all of us love banana bondage. What, I think I'm in the top 10, right? Uh, let's drop down and. You are four, five, six. You're in seventh right now with uh, Glory Hole. Nice. Hit that donut. Oh, uh, yeah. So you're moving on up like the Jeffersons. And Bananagasm is also on the list. Nice. And, uh, yeah. So let's... How about mods? Uh, mod <laughs> what? You skipped Best regulated. Yeah, I did skip. Best regulated vape mod. In first place, we have the Smoke Alien mod. Then you have the Relo RX 200. Then you have the Relo RX 200S, which I think would be the 23, right? Ooh, that's on the that's on there. Yeah. Wow. And honorable mention: Mad Modder Studios, Mad Modder DNA mods. Then Vaporize Nomads Boss 3000, uh, climbing the charts quickly. Uh, then you have, then you have the Relo R23. So I don't know what that's about. Then you have the Hexome and the Cyclone Evo DNA 200 and the Asmodus Minikin 2. So there you go. Uh, for me, uh, I did it in different classes when I did my video. Yeah. Uh, for DNA uh, 18650, dual 18650, the Therion was number one for me. And uh, for triple 18650, DNA had to be... Uh, this was mass produced. Had to be uh, the triad, and then custom eighteen six fifty one was the boxers, the dual and triple. Lipo, custom was the boss, and then for regular uh, dual eighteen six fifty mods, my favorite was the alien. I agree with everything you said. Um. Except I really love the Minikin version too for the size and portability. Yeah. Hey man, I'm I'd gonna like go to, with the. Uh, I'd like Mark to talk. The IPv6 X. Uh, I did like the Maxo a lot. I know a lot of people didn't give that any credit. Uh, the 6X, the Minikin V2. As far as like DNA, like the. Um, Mass produced would have to go through the triad and to custom. It's going to go to the boss definitely. Uh, the next up would be the best unregulated vape mod. In the first place, you have the Wismec Noisy Cricket. Then you have the Craving Vapor Industries Hexome version three. Then you have the BJ Box mods, the Broadside Mech mod. Then you have the Avid Life AV. Then you have the Limitless Mech mod. 
the Vape Amp Rig Mod, Noisy Cricket 2, Hexome 2.1, and uh, we'll stop there. None of those are unregulated, I believe. <laughs> they're either mech or they're regulated. Yeah. There's not even... I can't even think of an unregulated mod. Titan. Yep, yeah, Titan. There you go. The Titan. That's right. Really, Titan for a bot. Yeah. I liked this mod when it came out. What is this thing called? I forgot. Uh, I don't even know if these guys are still around. What is this thing called? I don't know. This is called... What is it? The Icon. Or Icons? The Icon. They were pretty. This thing, yeah, these are real nice. Um, but yeah, this one, definitely the Titan, too. Titan was really nice. The Hexome is not... It, the Hexome's regulated. Yep. Noisy Cricket's regulated. The other ones are mechanical. So. Well, the, the original Noisy Cricket. Oh, okay. Yeah, the original Noisy Cricket would be correct. Well, the original Noisy Cricket is... Was that mechanical or no? It was, oh, a, series. It was a series. Oh, okay. All right. uh, it was a series mechanical. Yeah, there was no wiring in that. So that'd be mechanical then, I think, right? Yeah. Are we doing best mechanic or uh, unregulated? Oh, okay. Uh, well, that's where people are getting confused, I guess. With yep. Unregulated and mechanical. Is there a mechanical section? Yeah, there's best mechanical mod Is lower there? down. Yeah. Uh, next one would be best uh, clearizer tank, which the one after that is the best sub ohm tank. So we'll just go to that. We've already done that. Mm -hmm. We did RDA, we did RTA, RDTA we did, best vape channel, technical with Daniel was in the lead with 1,074 votes, Vaping Underground Live, uh, I guess they're technical, I don't know, I've never watched it. <laughs> <laughs> technical. Well, of course the technicals, they're going to give do giveaways for them to vote. Yeah. So you're telling me that they're in number two and they kick Pissardo out of the two spot? Yeah, that's not even fair. That is bullshit. So, wow. I would say they're technically full of shit. Yeah, I would say that too. Yeah. Uh, so there you go, guys. If you want truth and justice, why don't you uh, place a vote uh, for Mr. Bassardo and Mr. Daniel to get them in the one-two spot? Daniel, Daniel's pretty much won the first spot. I don't think it's possible for him to lose that position. Yeah, so I mean, put, put your vote in for P. Bus. Yeah, I mean, him and Phil should definitely be the one and two. Yep. I don't know who would be three. I'm not even... I'm going to say make it right, perhaps. Uh, he is pretty technical when it comes to advocacy. I mean, when, you, when Mark makes things wrong, he makes it right. So. Make it right. Uh, best, best vape YouTube channel overall. And uh, I'm proud to announce that Mikey motherfucking vapes is holding strong and climbing fast uh, in third place. Nice. And for some reason, because there's not enough people watching Mike and this show to vote, uh, Vaping Underground Live. Wow, they came out of nowhere. I have never watched that show. Vaping okay. Underground Live, uh, second place. So there you go. And Grim Green is in first place. Any any comments, Mike? What is this? I've never heard of Vaping Underground Live until uh, this voting thing. Isn't that is that the show with what's his name, the Vapor Joe or whatever his name is? Oh, is that the one from the uh, Vaping Underground uh, website? I think if that's the show they're talking about, then I then they must be paying people because not to oh. be ignorant or nothing, but I don't see how they're in the top three. Well, they're doing giveaways. I mean, we could cheese out and do the same thing, but I suggest we shouldn't do it. What was that, Mark? You want to give away a, your boss mod uh, for people to vote for the vape team? Thank you. I'm actually raffling off a Corvette, a 2017 Corvette. <laughs> you vote for me? <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, so there you go. So everyone get out there and vote for uh, Mike Vapes. And uh, let me just drop down a little bit. Um, yeah, you know what? Do this. I would love to see a one, two, three with Mike and Mark in the uh, in, in one of the top threes together. I wouldn't even vote for Mike Vapes just to vote for Mike Vapes. Vote for whoever you think is. Oh, of course. Well, I, I'm saying I voted for Mike Vapes because I think that you deserve it. And also, Mark, I think you deserve to go up into the top three also. Well, no offense, but I voted for myself. We know that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, I actually voted already. And um, 
let's move on then. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, uh, best Instagram. You guys want to do that? Mm -hmm. I don't even. Uh, I'm gonna give it to low budget vape reviews. There you go. Best Instagram. <laughs> uh, best vape blog. No, we'll skip that. Johnny English. Best vape deals blog. We'll skip that. Best vape forum. I'm gonna have to say my vaporium. Yeah. Uh, are they on the list here? <laughs> yes, actually, yeah. MyVaporium.net is actually in fourth place. <coughs> nice. So get on there and vape. Uh, vote if you if you go to MyVaporium and appreciate it. Let me um, let me guess. Vaping Underground is in the top three, right? Uh, Vaping Underground is in first place. Wow, that's a shocker. <laughs> hmm. Anyway. Uh. Best vape network. This is funny. So Vaping Underground is in first place. The Vaping Legion Network is in second place. Giant Vapes, which I guess they're a network. I thought they were an e-juice uh, distributor or web, web store. Uh, and actually, the, va the Vape Team is in fourth place for the best vape network. Nice. We're a network. So uh, Mike Vapes, you're in fifth place for the best vape network. So congratulations, <laughs> congratulations on your vape network. Thank you. Thank you for the vape network votes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the vape team vape network is, is growing day by day. And once we, we figure out what the vape network is, we will let you all know. So there you go. Um, best vape show. Here we go. We have Mod Envy vaping underground live in first place. Oh, Jesus. Wait a minute. I've never heard of them. Are they the ones that made this voting thing? Like Mod Envy. There you I go, wanna, guys. I want to know what they're giving away because I might actually retract my vote and vote for them. Uh, yeah, so uh, Mod Envy is in first place. Uh, second place is the Vape Team, which I'm, I'm, I'm pretty proud of. And actually, Mark Vape and Fagan, uh, not another vape show, which I'd like to, I, you know, I'd like to pat Mike Vapes and myself and Heavy and ST and all the other homies in the vape community, Daniel and at Dear Addy and all of us, uh, you know. We're all together in this, so. So none of the vape show is third place now. Third place, yeah. You're actually catching up yes. to the vape team. Nice. Now, vaping underground wasn't falsely at number one. Vape team be at number one. We I'd be at number two or us or whatever you want to call it. That'd be fucking awesome. By the way, anyone that watches this show, um, Mark is not only a guest but he's an honored guest. So, thank you. Thank you. Uh, best vape convention. Uh, in first place, the vape team. So uh, that's interesting. Are you serious? No, I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let's skip that. Uh, best vape organization, Kasan, Apple, and Smoke, Safada. Uh, support them all. Best vape advocacy group. Uh, vaping's biggest supporter, individual. Grim Green is in first. Vapor Joe from Vaping Underground Live. What? And uh, Larry William Faircloth uh, with 235 votes. And uh, look at this coming up from behind Bob Buckland the third. <laughs> doesn't, it sound like, doesn't it sound like he would be a big vape supporter? Yes. It sounds right. Best vaping network, Bob Buckland the third's network. <laughs> <laughs> um, most popular vapor. This is actually a huge one. And I'll tell you what, there's somebody in this room that's bigger than the both of us, Mark. And that is Mikey motherfucking vapes. Hell yeah. So he is climbing faster than Bob Buckland in the thirds vape network. Mikey motherfucking vapes, 251 <laughs> votes. Wow. Vapor Joe in second place yet again. And Nick Green, aka Grim Green, is in first place. Nice. That's it. That is it. So beautiful. Yep. Beautiful. Uh, Somebody said Bob Buckland the third for best Chinese vape pricing. <laughs> wow. So anyway, yeah, there you go. Uh, I was sad to see that there was no Slim Sampy the third on there, but uh, maybe next year Slim. Bob uh, Buckland, look on top of your comment. Click on that. Bob's like, what? Where am I at? What show is this? <laughs> Bob Luckett just sort of teased in the poll. He wants to see where his name's at. Am I on the show? 
And the winner of the most time wasted looking for deals on the internet, uh, that would be Neville. Thank you. Congrats, Neville. And congrats, Neville. The most bed sores. Yes. Uh, the most likely to be banged by a two-pump chump would be Wendy. So congratulations, Wendy. WWFD is the Adore e-liquid coupon for that for the who's ever asking in chat. Yep. Yeah. Check and and also support. Uh, you know, support us. Vote please and vote for who you think is truly best. We don't want to win if we're not the best. Is there an, is there one for best boobs in vaping? Uh, there is one for best. Uh, there it's best hangers in va vaping, best milkers in vaping, and best overall boobs in vaping. That's gonna be a tough one because I've. Uh... In first, in first place for best boobs is Jax Miller. That's who got my vote. Yeah, Jax. Jax is Miller got number one. Uh, number two is low budget. Number three in in third place at least. And number two is Mark Flamon Fagan. I could see <laughs> Fagan being in the top three. <laughs> best love, best lover of transvestites on YouTube. Mark <laughs> Fagan again. <laughs> I was never even into tranny porn until you, Mark, so thank you. You're welcome. I never knew about it until I met you. Uh, that's uh, good. Yeah, good question, Bob, on that. I can't even see the current standings. So, Yeah, if I don't make – this is going to sound real childish, but if I don't make top ten, I am totally getting rid of my giveaways on my oh, channel. For best boobs? For best anything. Well, you're in the top ten right now? Well, uh, yeah, I should be in the top ten, but if I'm not, like, if somebody really wants to do the final, like, counting, if I don't make top ten, that's it. I'm done with fucking giveaways. Uh, you're in the top ten. How about fastest premature ejaculation? That would be The Vapor Chronicles. Well, I just put uh, a link to the best of. How quick is quick? Five seconds? Ten? A minute? <sighs> Prior to entry. Yep. You want to be louder, Mark? I'm sorry. This custard from um, Hometown Vapor is the shit. Oh, I got that too. I haven't tried it. What's it's, the name of it? It's called Custard. I didn't get that flavor. What the fuck? Yeah, it's good. What flavors did you get? Go run down your, your list. Oh, yeah. Let me, go, let me check out. I'm going to get mine too. <clears throat> I got the Milked M-I-L-K-D, which is one of my favorites from those guys. Uh, the Custard's good. Where's the rest of the bottles at? Uh, let's see what they put in my little package here. And they put all like the, the popular ones, I think, to be wrong though. But this shit right here. Oh I got something called Gorilla Berries. What this milk this milked one is a really good one to just vape straight or mix with anything. What does milk taste like? Milk? Milk. Yep. Sweetened milk. Peanut butter custard. Ooh. Honesty. Yeah. Did I get that one? And a blue ras slushy. They he, they must know that I love fucking blue ras because they fucking threw in two blue different blue rases in it. I heard they had a really good cereal one. I, I didn't get that one. What's that called? Yeah. Oh, we do have a we have a donation from Kimmy. Uh, she says, "Hey Brian, who wins the for best cake farts?" She's just tooting her own horn. Of course, she she bakes the cake and then she farts on the cake. Nice. So Kimmy vapes. Check her out on Instagram, Kimmy vapes. She's also a sponsored elite vape model and vape porn model for elite. And she's uh, soon to be on Chatterbait, too. Yep, with Mark. Mark's actually a elite vape model and elite, elite insertion model. And Chatterbait model. And Chatterbait model. I got this strawberry custard from them. Oh, that's got to be good. It's called strawberry custard. I also got the uh, smoothie, which is a strawberry banana smoothie. And I also got Mike. I think uh, you would like this. This is called Raspberry Cheese Danish. Mmm. Raspberry Cheese Danish. I want that one. Yep. Uh, and then also this Miss Michigan. It looks like an apple, banana. You know what, Brian? I'll trade you for that. Uh, what's it called? Raspberry Danish? Yeah. I'll trade you. What are we trading? I'll give you some of this awesome pudding pounder from the leaf for <laughs> like, That's I'll just a fuck with you. <laughs> um, how, 
Uh, <clears throat> how about a box one of those boxers that you have i would love one of those i'll give you a dna 200 boxer for it there you go that's a fair trade right there it is fair actually <laughs> <laughs> this bottle must be a hundred and something dollars a bottle yeah all right so there you go that is uh om hometown vapor not hometown vapor hometown I'm vapor. Their, i'm gonna put their link in chat because their liquid has been pretty popular lately Raspberry cheese Danish sounds like a chick with a yeast infection on her period. Whoa. Wow, wow Kimmy, you're really putting it out there in a clean and distinct way. Thank you for <laughs> clarifying. Wow. So it is 1147, and I think uh, this was an awesome holiday show. Technically, it's 1047. All right. I was waiting for Mark to say it's a Christmas show. <laughs> it's a Christmas show. Uh, we're going to finish up tonight's show with a little word from our Asian Santa Claus, Mark. Come over here, you little bastard. You want to talk? Talk. Oh, very good holiday show. Very good. Is he a little brown around his nose? Have you been licking ass? What's with the green gloves? I don't know. Uh, we got some uh, green gloves here on uh, Vapor Watch. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh. Uh, this is, that was the perfect ending, Brian. He just messed up. Yeah. We're still live, just so you know. Yeah. That would have been a perfect <laughs> ending while Santa was masturbating. Let me mount him. Hold on. Let's mount him on the desk. Here we go. This is when Mark uh, goes over the top. Let's pull him by his hair. Ooh, yeah, fucking Santa. Ooh. Bring that holiday cheer. Asian Santa. Well, Mark, you had a good run on the show. I did. It's yeah. nice way to go out with a bang. Mm -hmm. you, you sure did go out with a bang. So to finish this up, congratulations to the winner for the uh, two vape decks. I'd like to thank iJoy for all the love and support and all the great RDTAs. Vote on uh, Guide to Vaping. And um, no means no, Mark. No means no. Well, Santa didn't say. Did you say no? No. Very good. Very good. I take it deep. Mike, anything else? Uh, <laughs> I think uh, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a big Christmas uh, giveaway video celebration for Christmas, and uh, it's going to be a ba also a hundred thousand subscriber giveaway all in one. Ooh. Yes, and uh, hit that juice. dot com. There's gonna be a big sale this weekend. Uh, use coupon code MV40. Forty percent off all e liquids. Hit that juice. dot com. Starting Christmas Eve. Uh, is that like midnight or like twelve oh no, one? Christmas Eve. Ho, ho, ho. Christmas Eve is uh, Christmas Eve morning. Starting. Mm. 24th, December 24th, MV40, 40% off. That's right. Very good coupon code, very good. Merry yeah. Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays. I hope everyone has a beautiful time with their friends and families. Be safe. Enjoy the love. Thank you for joining us this year. It's been a wonderful, wonderful time. Ho, ho, ho. Hopefully everyone gets uh, some juice and some mods under ho, the tree ho. if you celebrate Christmas. That was that was a weak uh, outro. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Spe Christmas. Speaking of Merry Christmas, we have the Christmas tank. Love oh, Christmas. Oh, oh. Merry Christmas. And a happy new year. Have I ever said that I like hairy vaginas? Because I'm I'm in a big bush, like winter bush. Uh, it's that cold time of year. I like a nice, nice insulated undergarment of natural a nice material. warm set of balls laying in your face that's you mark and a nut sack full of vape gear for some oh yeah by the way everyone let's clear this up right now there will not be a christmas what? video because brian uh got me the lyrics way too late that's bullshit. You've had it for days. I had it uh, Wednesday. Yeah, but you no. got to understand, Brian's too busy with his reviews. 
Yeah. Yes. What that the is fuck? A good point. So I wasn't able to gather up like ten or twelve people in a matter of like two days and edit all the videos. So yeah, this year. Did you watch the video I made? No, I didn't. Well, you missed out that it was fucking classic. I saw I saw a sneak peek of a video that uh, Robbie Vapes on YouTube. Check him out, Robbie Vapes. He made a nice Christmas video, featuring uh, I'm in the video and Mark's in the video too. Yeah, maybe he did do a nice, very nice video. Yeah, maybe we should all just do our own video. That way, it's you know, there's no stress on anyone trying to get something done before Christmas, and we can all be unique in our own little ways and. My video is going to be my Christmas giveaway video. Be like a vlog thingy. Make sure everyone tunes in Sunday to the show because uh, the Christmas giveaways are going to be announced then for the big ass sacks of fucking vape gear that are going to be a bitch to shit. I want to give my holiday log to some hookers while I do blow. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. There's the coupon code in the chat for OP Vapor. You guys want to pick up ADS? Someone was asking just now. TOV30. I don't know what TOV means. My girlfriend wants me to butter her buns. Oh, why don't you come into the, the hangout after the show and you can butter her buns live on camera? We'd love to see that. Mark, the more you talk, the more people are retracting votes on the on the guide to vaping voting. <laughs> are we slowly going down? Yeah. Did you guys get a? Uh, did you guys get the uh, another skin from Lost Vape? I did not get that skin. This came today, snake skin, and the funny part is, it feels like fucking snake skin. It looks sexy as fuck on the black, right? It just looks sick. You need to get some hit that shit boots, like some snake skin boots to match. Hell yeah, baby! Matchy matchy his boots, life. Take a picture, of Mike wearing snake skin boots. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you wear lambskin rubbers, Mark? <laughs> no, I wear. Uh, I use uh, Saran zip, wrap, Ziploc baggies. Nice. They're cheaper. No. Yep. Butter my walnuts. <laughs> I know. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> uh, just to clarify, Mister Anbu eighty four, hit that juice dot net is not my website. I have no control over it. That's uh, phenoms. That's Joe Turner, Royal Vape uh, Products. That's his website. He runs that website. He buys juice wholesale for me and sells it himself there. So I have nothing to do with that website. So sorry. Yep. Yeah. And elitistfuck.com is not mine either. Phenom owns that, I believe. Phenom owns that. Elitistfuckingfuck.com is me. Elitist I actually bought elitistfuck.com for like. 20 bucks off, you know. Thank you. Vagina. I think my wife's been making Mike Vapes' Christmas gift for like three weeks in my house. That was wet, bro. There was a little oh, wetness. I'm not wearing underwear, so there's nothing to hold in the wetness, so it's actually dripping down my leg right now. Can you end the no means no, please? Seeing as how you got control of the ending, it's not me, it's you. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was waiting for you for the past 20 minutes. Didn't I just say that would have been a perfect ending, Brian, if you would have just ended it? Oh, I thought you were blaming Mark. I didn't know you were oh, blaming me. Well, Mark was humping uh, Santa. So what did you say? I do have a stop button on my end, but I'm not going to hit it. I'm going to let you hit it. Well, Mike, what did you say? I told... I forget it. <laughs>